In the 20th century, the United States witnessed a series of striking cultural movements and social reform efforts. The triumphs of equal rights movements, primarily the civil rights movement of African Americans, inspired and transformed the lives of millions across the country. The United States was quickly becoming a more accepting place for all. However, for a while it seemed as if one major group was being neglected, the LGBT community. Homosexuals face tragic hostility and oppression daily. Persistent popular superstitions about the community made for an exceptionally unforgiving political and social environment. They were treated as if they were mentally ill and were classed by many as sexual predators. They were denied jobs, they couldn't enlist in the army, and any display of same-sex attraction in public could possibly lead to jail time. And when they weren't being faced with such antagonism, they were often ignored entirely. This is until one dramatic incident in New York City forced the attention of citizens nationwide and exposed them to the plights of the LGBT community, the Stonewall Riots. This event continues to hold a special place in many reformers' recollection even today, as it sparked enormous progression in the movement for LGBT rights. Although the rioters had faced tragic levels of oppression, the events that transpired at Stonewall Inn in 1969 provide triumphant progression for the LGBT community by acting as a catalyst for change and forcing national attention, placing greater emphasis on prideful sentiment in the gay community, and eventually leading to progressive legislation such as the legislation for gay marriage. The Stonewall Inn was established in 1846 in New York City and was converted to a gay bar in 1966. It was located in Greenwich Village on Christopher Street, which was home to many homosexuals. And like all other gay bars at the time, it served as a place of refuge from the bitterness of the public world. These bars were practically the only place where LGBT citizens could truly come out of the closet and express themselves without seemingly no consequences. But even in these bars, homosexuals were vulnerable to harassment. They were subject to police raids almost monthly being viewed as disorderly. In the 1960s, Mayor Robert F. Wagner Jr. of New York City enforced a campaign to rid the city of gay bars and the New York State Liquor Authority had even tried to shut them all down. Due to this, the Stonewall Inn and many other gay bars fell under the ownership of criminal organizations such as the Mafia. Now, Stonewall was often tipped off by corrupt officers before police raids, allowing them time to hide any illegal activity beforehand. Therefore, when the police officers came without warning, it was a completely different story. On June 28, 1969, policemen made their entry into Stonewall, and upon finding illegal alcohol being stored and consumed, arrested 13 people. Many people were also invasively checked for cross-dressing, however at the time this was supposedly routine. What shocked people nationwide was the people's reaction to the raid. Unlike before, when the police ordered the patrons to disperse, they valiantly refused. They and other outraged crowds began to gather outside the bars, and tensions soon escalated into violence. Eventually, a riot was afoot, with hundreds of protesters gathered at Christopher Street, and the riots lasted nearly five days. The police proved no match for the massive crowds, and the event ended in a decisive triumph for the LGBT community. News of the riots quickly spread nationwide, and people began to view the community in a different light. On June 28, 1970, exactly one year after the riots began, thousands of gays, lesbians, and transgender people marched in the first Pride Parade in the United States history. And they didn't just march down Christopher Street, but across the country showing true unity within the community for the first time. Feelings of pride and unity soon spread out of the United States. The first Pride March in London occurred in July 1972, and sure enough, the memory of Stonewall was fresh in people's minds. The Stonewall riots proved to be a catalyst for rising political power in the LGBT community. Solidarity within the community brought tremendous new strengths to activist efforts. New gay rights organizations were formed, including the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, which still exists today as a strong form of activism. These organizations broke boundaries for LGBT political activism and turned the tide of gay rights efforts nationwide. Along with activist organizations came new political figures as well. In 1977, Harvey Milk was elected to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. He was the first openly gay man to be elected to an official position in society, a groundbreaking triumph for LGBT community. With his position, he was able to provide protection legislation citywide to prevent discrimination against homosexuals. However, the triumphs didn't stop there. 
The LGBT community's battle for acceptance and legislation is one still being fought today. The most notable progressive legislation occurred in 2015 under the Obama administration. In the landmark case Ober G. V. Hodge, the Supreme Court ruled that any legislation made to ban same-sex marriage was unconstitutional. Same-sex marriage had finally been legalized, and love had won in the United States. Due to the care and activism of LGBT reformists, gay and transgender people found themselves largely protected from previous efforts of suppression. Back during the Clinton administration, for example, a discriminatory law was passed titled Don't Ask, Don't Tell. This law prohibited openly homosexual people from serving in the military even if they had been qualified. After years of protests and outrage, the law was finally repealed under the Obama administration. Despite these breakthroughs within the country, hundreds of anti-transgender and homophobic acts had still been proposed, often using things like religion to justify discrimination. This was especially clear when former Indiana governor and current vice president Mike Pence proposed the Religious Freedom Restoration Act in 2015. This had allowed companies to use religious identification to deny business to people based on their religious beliefs. However, this backwards legislation faced major backlash due to the accusation that it wrongly targeted LGBT patrons. Direct and immediate anger emerged with the words Fix This Now being printed across the Indianapolis Star. Lawns statewide were soon plastered with the mantra, Pence must go. What would never have been done before was occurring slowly. Outreach towards discrimination and a cry for acceptance from the LGBT community. Acceptance of backwards stereotypes and legislation was no longer the norm. Sentiment for change and a progression in today's society truly reflects those displayed during the Stonewall riots. Pride and courage, something that seemed radical and fundamentally wrong, had become the largest cry of the upcoming generation in the LGBT community. Overall, the Stonewall riots led to political and social reforms which transformed the United States into a much more accepting nation. Even today, LGBT people continue to march for their rights, and this continuing prideful sentiment was underlined in modern achievements, such as the legalization of gay marriage in 2015. Had it not been for the sacrifices made at Stonewall and the courage displayed during the riots, the LGBT community would still find itself without unity. It would still be at a standstill as a society without a voice. Instead, the community based on love rose up and fought back despite the tragic oppression of the past and finally won triumphant progression and acceptance.